Hello everyone. Today we are going to see week 3 assignment solution for NPTEL course digital circuits. This is Benila. The canonical sum of product form for the expression f of w comma x comma y comma z is equal to yz plus w bar x bar so they, can, they are asking you to get the canonical form where canonical form is nothing but every x that is the every term in the expression should have all the literals in one form or other so here uh, w x y z you have four literals two terms but these two terms in the first term you have only two literals two is missing in the second term also you have two literals two to, two two other literals are missing so whatever the how many literals are going to miss i am going to introduce one because while i am just making converting into a canonical form the basic value of the expression should not be changed so uh, here if i multiply it by one the value of the expression will not change so w and x is missing so in that place i'm just introducing one here y and z is missing i'm just introducing one now you know that uh, boolean expression a plus a bar is equal to one so a plus a bar is going to be one here so using that uh, expression i'm just going to convert this one into the corresponding values here okay so um, here this one first one will be replaced by w plus w bar plus w and uh, next is x bar plus x y z then w bar x bar y bar plus y and then z bar plus z and i'll multiply take this w bar multiply with your x bar y z x y z then w x bar y z x y z four terms you will get and here similarly w bar x bar y bar z bar y bar z then w bar x bar y z bar y z so likewise i got eight terms now i'm going to convert this into a min terms here so original value will have one bar value will have zero so if it is so so the value of this is going to be w bar is zero then this is x bar is zero then your y is one z is one so totally it's going to be zero zero one one is three Similarly, this is going to be 1, 0, then 1, 1. So, this is going to be 11. Then, this is going to be 0, 1, 1, 1. So, this is going to be 7. Again, it is 1, 1, 1, 1 is 15. 0, 0, 0, 0 is 0. Then, 0, 0, 1, 0 is 2. 0, 0, 0, 1 is 1. 0, 0, 1, 1 is 3. So, here m3 is going to be have two things so we can have one so i can strike it of this one so out of these two i can make it out as one so the main term is going to be zero ascending order you have to write so zero one two three then uh, seven eleven fifteen so these are the main terms canonical form sum of product form and then the main terms here the SOP expression for f of f is equal to a b plus c d. So this is an SOP expression sum of products. So this is sum of the product a b and c d is equal to the POS that is product of sum. So here um, you are going to use a only one law that is distributive law. a b plus c is equal to a plus c into b plus c. So the sum is converted into product here. So here also we are going to use the same one. A B plus C D. I can write it out as A plus C D into B plus C D. Again I am using uh, distributive law. A plus C into A plus D. B plus C into B plus D. So B plus C into B plus D. So similarly uh, A plus C into A plus D. So A plus C plus A plus D into b plus c into b plus d so now i have converted the sop into your pos product of the sum the product of sum expression f of a bar plus b into a bar plus c into c plus d is equal to the sop so this is pos into sop so in pos to sop we have to multiply throughout uh, the, that is the only way here so I can take this one here uh, um, using this one reverse of a plus b into b plus c. I can write it out as a b plus c. So this is a b plus c. So here similarly I can take a bar uh, in plus b a bar plus c. So I can write it out as a bar 
plus BC and then this CD. Again, I can write uh, multiply this entire term. So this is A bar C, A bar D plus then BC plus BD. So I got this two. Now in this two term, your BC is common here. So I can take my BC out. So this term will become one and here it is going to be D. So one plus D is going to be one plus anything is going to be one. So the uh, SOP expression is going to be A bar C plus A bar D plus BC. So one plus D is going to be one. For an n variable boolean function k map contains how many cells or squares it's 2 power n if it is 2 variable 4 if it is 3 variable it's going to be uh, 2 power uh, n that's 2 power uh, 3 then 2 power 4 so 2 power 3 it's 8 2 power 4 is 16 so the standard form is 2 power n essential prime implicates of the expression a f of a b c is 1 3 4 5 6 r so it is 3 variable so 2 power 3 is going to be 8 so this side I am taking A and that side I am going to take B so this is 0 1 this is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so the min term uh, value also I am just noting it out so 0 0 0 is 0 0 0 0 1 is 1 so you have to buy got this so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it forms follows the grey code now I am going to uh, uh, represent the min term cells here they, they here they have given one so the n cell one then three then four then five and then six so now i'm going to get the essential uh, prime implicate so i can group this two so if i group this two the value is going to be this is a bar so this is this and this zero first is zero and first one get cancels with each other so the second one is c so it's going to be a bar c right so next i'm going to group uh, the next one so i can group here so this is going to be the pair next pair so in this pair this zero and one get cancelled so same literal zero one now i can get cancels here here it is going to be b bar c Next, I can I can roll this one in a K map. The rolling is possible, so I can go for this pair as well as this. So if I go for this pair, it's going to be A, and here it is zero zero, it is one zero. So this B value, this zero and this one will get cancelled. The next left out value will be C bar. So it's going to be A C bar. So the essential prime implicates are A bar C, B bar C, and A C bar. Write the Boolean equation corresponding to each line in the truth table where the output is 1. So where the output is 1, so here it is going to be 1 and then here it is 1 and here it is 1 and here it is 1. So you have to take this A, B, C. If they have given A, B, C now you have to mention it out A, B, C, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. The little cannot be changed as per our, as our, as our wish. So here it is wherever the q value is 1 I am going to take the literals here. This is a bar b bar c. Then this is going to be a bar b c bar. This is a b bar c bar and a b c. So the q value is this one. Which of the following statement about the k map is incorrect? The 5 variable map contains 2 squares, 4 squares, 8 squares or other combination involving only 2 blocks not 4 blocks. So uh, um, 5 variable na, 2 power 5 is 32. So 2 blocks 1 4 block is going to be 16. So 2 block na 32 right. If it is 4 block na, then it belongs to five, 6 variable not 5 variable. So the number of min terms after minimizing the boolean expression is so this is the whole bar you have so you can use your de Morgan's theorem that is a plus b whole bar equal to a bar b bar again you can use a bar b bar as a b whole bar as a bar plus b bar so using these two de Morgan's theorem you can minimize it so the left out value is going to be one so first you just take this whole bar as uh, uh, this make it out as uh, D into this A B bar whole bar into A bar C whole bar then A C bar D bar whole bar into A bar C bar D whole bar now again this A B whole bar formula if you apply 
and then simply uh, uh, simplify you will get your only one expression only one term that is a b c d the reduced circuit of the following original circuiters so this is the circuit they have given they have given two or gate and one and gate so this or gate input has three values here that is going to be a this is not gate so b bar then this is going to be c bar so the first is going to be r is a plus b bar plus c bar and this the second one so this is going to be one and this is going to be two the second r gate you have three inputs so here it is going to be a then this is going to be c and this is going to be b bar so first one is a a plus b bar plus c bar and for the second one is going to be a plus b bar plus c here right so now if you substitute solve this one this a plus b bar is common for both i can take it out so a plus b bar plus c into c bar so c into c bar value is going to be zero that is the boolean postulates so c bar plus c, c bar c is zero here so a plus b bar so the circuit is going to be a plus b bar that is your or gate the boolean function f of a b c d they have given your min terms as well as don't care condition they ask you to find the expression here so if it is 4 variable now 2 power 4 is 8 16 that is 0 to 15 so i took a b this side c d this side so 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 here also 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and how the uh, cells will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so this slip as well as this slip uh, you should uh, by god right so i'll be uh, placing the value here the min terms are 1 3 7 11 and 15 and i'll note down this uh, don't care if i need the uh, the value to get reduced i can use it otherwise i can leave it out that is the speciality of don't care so don't care d is zero i'll mention it out by into so zero then again it's going to be two then five so now i have i'll i have uh, uh, given five uh, min terms and then three uh, don't care i have i have to make sure that i have uh, mentioned all now i have to reduce this one First, I try to group the min terms. Then, if I need the help of you, don't care, I can go for it. So, here I can go for this quadrat. So, this quadrat and the value is so this a this 0, 0, 1, and this 0, this one will get cancelled. 0, 1, 0, 1 will get cancelled. So, totally the value is going to be C and D. Then, here I have one more literal that I have to group one main term I have to group so I can go for pair but I have don't care so I can take the help of the don't care so pair now I will get three literals if I go for this quadrat I get only two literals so I have to minimize as much as possible so I take the help of this don't care and then I will get your value as a bar b bar because all these c and d variables uh, literals get cancelled here so it's going to be c d plus a bar b bar here i didn't use this don't care because i don't need this one so i'm not using it either i can go for this quadrat also that is also possible so simplify the boolean uh, function in sop so they have given the same uh, similar to that of your previous one i have given this uh, uh, since it's a four variable so you have 16 and uh, that is 0 to 15 then i'll mark the mean term so it's going to be 0 then 6 8 13 and 14 now i'll mark the don't care so it's going to be 2 4 10 so here now i'll start grouping here so while seeing this when uh, octet is not possible so i can go for this quadrant so totally you have uh, a grouping as uh, pair uh, then your uh, quadrant and then your octet quadrant of four so i can group this one and then all this a b literals will get cancelled with each other so the value is going to be uh, c d bar 
then I can go for I told that you can fold four sides so I can go for this quadrant one two I can take the help of this also three and then four so this is going to be four corner so here this a a bar and a get cancelled so only b bar here and this to c bar and c get cancelled so d bar so it's going to be b bar d bar and the one is left and then i don't have any other value to go for pair or anything else so no other way i have to keep this as a separator so totally i have three one is going to be c d bar and then this is going to be this four corner quadrant b bar d and this is going to be a b c bar d how many input uh, ports of and and r uh, gates are required to realize the expression f is equal to a b c plus a b bar c d plus a f bar plus a d where not gate is not considered here so how many inputs for and first first we'll see and then we can go for uh, um, r so for and uh, you have first one for, for the first term three then for the next four then two then two so 3 plus 4 7 8 9 10 11 so for and gate it's going to be 11 and for r gate how many r gates here so the input for r gate is this one term second term third term fourth term so four inputs four r gates right so totally 15 gates uh, 15 uh, inputs are there boolean expression can be minimized using you can go for boolean al algebraic method or you can use your de morgan's law or k map all three uh, can be used to minimize how many entries will be there in the truth table of four input nan gate so in the truth table number of variables depending upon the number of l entry will get changed by the formula 2 power n so four input not 2 power n is going to be 16 that is 0 to 15 the combinational circuit has three inputs a b c and its k map is given find the output here here you have four literals here but i don't find any other uh, literal to get grouped so you have to go for individual grouping no other way so if i grow go for this one now uh, so you have to take a b and c so it is a bar b c bar the value of this is a b bar c bar so the value of this is a bar b bar c and the value of this is going to be a b and c so this is the expression Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Subscribe my channel for the automatic updates. Have a nice day.